Welcome back, everybody. We are one day away from Mardi Gras Day, and I'm back here in Louisiana Culinary Institute to check out another awesome Mardi Gras meal. I'm joined now by Director of Catering, Chef Derek, and Chef Jandy. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you for coming. And having me here, I'm so excited to see what you guys have planned for today. What are you about to make? We are about to make the mufalata pasta. Mufalata? For those yes. who don't know, and I'm Italian, <laughs> I never heard of this. What is a mufalata? Well, the mufalata sandwich originated in New Orleans, and it is a combination of a certain type of bread, and then they have three different meats. They have salami, they have boiled ham, and they have uh, mortadella, or a spicy garlic uh, bologna. Yeah. And it also has uh, provolone cheese and a variety of vegetables. Mm -hmm. It has bell pepper, celery, onions, parsley, and then it also has a array of seasonings and a vinaigrette, and of course, our olives our black olives and our green olives, and we mix that up together. But we're gonna make it into a pasta today. Ooh, okay. even better. Even better. Pasta. Okay. All right, so how do you make it? All right, so first we're gonna start off with some of our, our basic um, vegetable cuts. So she's doing celery on the bias here. Okay. And you want the nice fresh vegetables, and with this, since it's gonna be New Orleans style, it's gonna be nice and colorful. So we've got some celery, we've got some red and green bell peppers, and mm -hmm. again, she's just doing a simple julienne cut here. Okay, so um, you want it more julienne cut, which is the thin s s strips. Correct, correct. Okay. And Jandy is actually one of our, our first year baking uh -huh. students, and they are in knife uh -huh. skills right now. Oh, so look she's at that. Showing off her knife skills. Your knife skills are good, Jandy. You go, girl. Is that girl? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got a lot of colors going on the onion. Now, talk about the meats again. Now, okay. can you pick different kinds of Italian meats, or it should be? Classical dishes, like mm -hmm. if it has a classical name, you want to stick to that. Okay. We can alter the preparation, we want to stick to that. We've got our salami. Okay. We've got our boiled ham, and we have our mortadella or our garlic bologna. Oh. Okay. So with our vinaigrette, we're going to take some olive oil. And since you're making a salad, you can use extra virgin olive oil. Okay. I would suggest either extra virgin or regular olive oil for making the vinaigrettes. A lot more flavor. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So we have a cider vinegar here. Okay. And to that, we're going to add some of our seasoning, which has already got pre-mixed. We've got some salt, pepper, some thyme, okay. some uh, cayenne pepper, some fresh garlic. So right. We've got our basic vinaigrette there. And now we've already cooked off our pasta. Mm -hmm. We're using a tricolor rotini pasta here, so mm -hmm. we've got green. Uh, white and then we got orange. Okay. Okay, so we can put some of that pasta there, not all of it. Just to know, yep, very good. And we'll put all some right. of our vegetables in there. And you want this all raw, so this is super easy. Just yes. all you have to do is cook the pasta and then throw this all together. Exactly. Exactly. And it's so colorful. So we're going to add our meats in there now. We're going to add our cheese. What it's, kind of cheese is this? This is provolone here. Okay. Okay, and we'll add our parmesan a little bit later. All right. And then we're going to give this a toss. And I always find when you're making a pasta salad, it's best to make all more dressing so you can leave it in the fridge so that when that's marinating, if you want to add a little more when you're serving it. Correct. Right? Correct. So I'm going to sprinkle on some of the Parmesan mm -hmm. cheese. You can make this the day before. Go out and party in the streets. <laughs> yeah. Come back. Come back and eat it. Instead of uh, Funyuns, you've got a nice pasta salad. <laughs> exactly. And <laughs> it's something you can even bring to the parade. Put it in a little container, you can eat it out Absolutely. of the parade, right? And we're going to finish it off with our olives. Got to add the olives. And we'll put some of this right here on our little greens there. Oh, look how pretty. Mm -hmm. And this can be a main meal by itself, mm -hmm. or you can have it as a compliment. Right. Mm -hmm. And I, I think this is great year round, too. Absolutely. I know, you know, it's not summer right now, but mm -hmm. of course it's perfect for Mardi Gras and it's perfect for a summer salad. Exactly. Any time of year. And then, of course, more cheese, please. More cheese. Yay! Yeah. Can I dive in? You can. Yes. This looks so good. Mm hmm. Mm. Gotta get it all in there. Oh, wow. Very simple. Go Working. grow. Oh, your hands are dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Elbows. <laughs> it is so much flavor. The vinegar, the garlic, the meats, everything, the crunch from the vegetables. This is fantastic. High Good fives. Time. Thank All you right. so much for showing us how to make this. I got to take one more bite. What's your favorite thing about Mardi Gras? The people. <laughs> the people. <laughs> Who knew that Italian Italians um, invented something else down here in Louisiana? I love that. There that makes go. me happy being Italian. Thank you guys so much for having me. You're welcome. Have a great Mardi Gras. We're going to be back with more Local 33 news today. This recipe on our website later this morning.